dead man here from Buff Bay, sir. Ah, yes. How are you? I am doing just fine, thank you, sir. What are you doing? Oh, not too badly getting older. <laughs> well, <laughs> glad you're doing a good job, but sorry you're getting older. Oh, that's all right. Anyway, it happens I'm to all of us. I'm going to call you about this malice, piracy, anarchy being waged against the motor in public. Yes. By the traffic authority, the traffic examiners, and to a certain extent, the police. Uh -huh. Let me explain to you now, sir. My Land Rover uh -huh. was examined at the traffic authorities' offices in Port Antonio. Yes. Less than 500 miles ago. Yes. And possibly about six weeks, two months ago. Uh -huh. um, it was passed and licensed uh -huh. and everything. Uh -huh. Right? with no defects yes on august the 31st which is four days ago yes the land rover was stopped by the traffic authority uh -huh. in the not bay area of st mary which is not very far from where the land rover is based in both bay as you know yes uh -huh. the driver of the vehicle was a mr albert drisdale uh -huh. who has a, a general driving license has been driving for 50 years uh -huh. right yes um his license was seized. The documents for the vehicle were seized, right? Uh -huh. By a, a, a traffic authority officer. Uh -huh. under the, um, I'm trying to find her name here. Anyway, she was out there with the police and the examiner. The vehicle was examined uh -huh. and found to be non-defective at that time. Uh -huh. At right? the time that it was examined? Yes, sir. By the, on the, on the road? Four days ago, sir, and yes. it was the 31st. Yes. Right? Uh -huh. Today, this morning, Friday the 4th of September, uh -huh. the land... At the 3rd of September. The 3rd of September, rather, sir, sorry. Uh -huh. The Land Rover was parked in the SO gas station in Buff Bay yes. at approximately 8.40 a.m. this morning, uh -huh. driven by the same Mr. Albert Grisdale, uh -huh. when he was approached by a Mr. Richard Hilton, uh -huh. who is an examiner attached to the Port Antonio office. Yes who, as I said before, less than 500 miles ago passed and certified the Land Rover yes. as non-defective. Yes. He was the same examiner? The same examiner. Uh -huh. The Land Rover was called out. There were other vehicles in the gas station. He came and he called, sent a policeman and they called the vehicle out. How did he call it out? Well, took it out of the line waiting to get gas in the gas well, station. Well, how can he do that? When he did... What else are... The, 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 the gas station is private property? Yes, sir. So how can he... The gas station is not, the, 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 the Land Rover was not at that time on the road. But I'm telling you, sir, there's, there's malice. Uh -huh. There's definitely malice. Uh -huh. The same woman who was with the traffic authority people who stopped it in St. Mary on August the 31st. Yes. Was there with him. Uh -huh. Right? Uh -huh. And they, the, Mr. Hilton did not examine the Land Rover. He started it up and said, it's a diesel Land Rover, sir. It smokes and says that it was smoking excessively and uh -huh. the iron was defective and the brakes were defective with that he removes the license plates from the land rover uh -huh. he doesn't drive it doesn't attempt to drive it uh -huh. or anything sir yes and um <clears throat> the, the, the demands that there's a carrier's license not to put on the vehicle the vehicle carries nothing for rewards and as far as my wife who is an attorney says that Vehicles only are required to have a carrier's license if, if they are carrying goods for sale. For sale, yes, sir. Uh huh. But but while you're on the subject, sir, I'm just going to give you an instant. My friend, driving his private car, was stopped in Clarendon, uh -huh. along with his wife and his son in the car. Yes. He was accosted uh, as they always do, saying that he was running a taxi. I see. Right. They didn't ask him any questions. They just seized his vehicle, hauled it off to some pound in Chapleton, uh -huh. and um, he, he charged him. Uh -huh. You know, for carrying passengers without a without a, 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 a plate. Yes. I mean, these people are just. So what happened in that case? Well, he since has got back his vehicle. Uh -huh. Has he sued them? No, he has not sued them. But I'm going to suggest to him that he should. All the best. Thank you, you very much. Sir. Okay. Bye.